sneak in the house, back in the house, back in the house, back in my house. So, yeah. Yeah, you were expecting more videos, wasn't you? Yeah, I know you was, and I was expecting to do more. But, things crop up all the time. Now, I've done quite a lot of pup videos in the, the past lot, didn't I? You know, not last week, the week before. i just done about four or five, maybe six, on the new Puppy Linux, and I really liked it and enjoyed it. It was great, it was a great little system, and I've got the machine, okay? It's super. But uh, with stuff at school and trying to do lesson plans and more lessons and trying to get stuff done for coding, I've decided to actually open another two channels on the tube, okay? So there'll still be the basic sneaky Linux channel, okay? But then we're going to have an education one and one for me blogs that I do outside with my outdoor cameras, okay? Because that's just the way it's better to work, really. I don't think putting them all in one channel is going to be the best way for me. But anyway, moving on. I'll explain that another time or another date, but that's basically what's going to happen. Today, we have the Raspberry Pi desktop, formerly known as Raspbian x86. Or basically, it's just Debian with the Raspberry Pi desktop on the top, which is LXDE with a bit of Bish and Bosch and some programs I use. Now, I've been using this for quite a while now, okay, and I'm really loving it. And then I've put it on a machine that it was meant for, an old one, okay. And we're still recording in 1080p, 30 frames a second. So I'm not too really worried about that, okay? But the main reason I wanted to test it really is because uh, we've got a new head at one of my schools. And he's um, found, stroke, acquired some Samsung notebooks, okay? Which have Windows 7 on them, and they didn't even run before. They just couldn't even boot, to be honest with you. And so I've stuck this on some of them. And you know what? They really, really, really work really really well now for what I want to use them for at school for children and education okay this is what I'm trying to say here that's why I'm splitting into three channels now so you get the main channel which is me being mad education where I can't be so mad I have to be you know, normal okay and my blogs I can do what I like I can just go outside go anywhere in Dorset Hampshire Devon and Cornwall where much petrol I've got in the car or whatever you, you know you don't score I'll call so anyway, this is the Raspberry Pi desktop. I'll leave you a link in the description so you can go and download it and give it a go yourself. It's a rather large download, okay? But if you've got a Raspberry Pi and you've got basic Raspberry on it, you'll know this is the first desktop you see. So what I'm going to do now, before we even go anywhere, is I'm going to change the picture, because everybody knows that one. Blah, 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 blah. So we're going to go for... Should we go for trees? We'll go for sand. We're going to open the sand... That looks good to me. That's fine, isn't it? And on a netbook or a notebook, sorry, we call them notebook now, so they're basically netbooks, really. We've got a Celeron processor. This is going to look fine, okay? They can, the students, if they wish, have all this stuff in blocks down here, like they do at home in their Windows machines or whatever. It's up to, entirely up to them. But I'm also going to customise them with Docky or Cairo down the bottom here, or whatever what they want to do. So, you say, hmm, so what have you done to it, Sneaky? Well, oh, you know, I've got Spotify. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Spotify runs okay. There's two ways of doing it. You can get a flat pack or a snap, okay? Uh, snap didn't... Oh, I've not got snap working properly yet, to be honest with you. I can get the files, just can't get them to run, even running terminal commands. But I'll look into that another time. I just haven't had enough time to really do what I really, really want to do. I just really want to go to a snap, so I've had to go to flat packs. And flat packs work at the end of the day for Spotify, OBS, and that. But the OBS uh, flat pack I didn't really like too much. Okay, so I just went for the, the older version that's in the repos. So, anyway, what do you get when you get a Raspberry Pi desktop? Well, this is what you get. But I've added lots of stuff, haven't I? Of course. Uh, also, this machine has only got, it's actually got less than 4 gigs of RAM, and it plays videos and everything fine. I'm recording here. Uh, 40%, so it's taken up. A third of my stuff, isn't it really? So if I go down here, under programming, this all comes as standard with the Raspberry Pi desktop. Because at the end of the day, it's meant for education. Obviously, when I'm doing the other video for this on the same machine, I won't be talking like this. But hey, I'm going to send it to a couple of the guys and see what they think. Okay. So I've got Blue Java, yeah, for Java stuff. Genie, you've all used it before. Python's here, Greenfoot's here. Got scratch one and two. Now remember, these have been 
overtook now by Scratch 3. But there isn't an actual Linux desktop client at the moment. Hopefully there will be one very, very soon. But we'll look into that. So if I open Scratch 2 up for you. If you've used Scratch before, you'll know what it looks like. But I'm just going to open it up for you. Bear in mind, old machine, don't care. I think the motherboard's from 2009, by the way. So this is Scratch 2. And you can do all your stuff for programming in blocks, okay? It works perfectly well. Doesn't use no CPU or hardly any RAM, okay? So it's ideal if you've got these old notebooks or an old laptop lying around and your kids want something, this is going to be the one for you to go for, okay? So, back to programming. The Sense Hats emulator. So, obviously, this goes back to the Raspberry Pi section. We have hats for the Pies. If you haven't got a Pi, go and get 10. And you know what I mean, okay? You can do loads of stuff from it. It's fantastic. And that right, pseudo. You know what I'm saying, boy? Okay, and then we also we've got Sonic Pi. Sonic Pi actually works. I've been working on a snap for this for age. Well, I started the snap trying to make a snap for Sonic Pi for the Bantus, etc. And can I get it to work properly? Can I bugger? No, I can't. Then you've got Thony Python. So it's oddly for goodness, so if I open it up for you, you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to open it. I'm going to a bit of a drink as we're waiting here. That's a really, really easy one to use for coding. Super duper. I like it. It stutters a little bit, but that's probably this machine. I'm sure one of the RAM sticks is going anyway, so I'm not really too worried. Education. Smart sim. Yeah, that's okay. You get a full LibreOffice suite, so you can do all your office stuff, or if you want to do. Right, and internet. You only get Chromium and Clausmail when you boot up, okay? I've installed Google Chrome for the simple reason Scratch 3 wouldn't work in Chromium, okay? And I wasn't prepared to spend some time putting some stuff in. Excuse me. I've just done something to eat. Mm. So you can go to the Google Chrome website, download it, it'll install, no problem. I'll show you that in a minute in working. Sound and video. Things we're going to need. Audacity. Of course we're going to need Clementine. That's just for me, really, for my music. Flowbait. There's another editor for you. Open shot. This is the really old version. I'm going to click on it. Hopefully the audio won't go blah, 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 blah. Just open it. See, this is a really old-fashioned one. Really old, old open shot. That I've rather liked, actually. I used it quite a lot back in the day. But, um, yeah. You can get a new one if you want to. It comes as a flat pack or a snap. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Go back here. I've installed Pulse. It comes with Elsa as standard, but I prefer Pulse personally. But it will work just fine with Elsa, okay? If you're not into Linux, you won't know a thing I'm talking about. Simple screen record I'm using now to do this for you here, so that's fine. VLC for your playback, okay? You can have add whatever you want to. Just go to command line, basically. That's what I did to begin with. I've done a command line for the first couple of videos for the education section, and we moved on. My right, Gimpage here, I've got from the repos. If you want the more current one, Get a pack or a snap, okay? That's how it works. Okay. Super duper. Or you could change kernel, up to you. But this is not meant for that. This is meant to keep something stable, okay? Games. We have Python games. So, yes, you can have Steam if you want to. You can run Steam and you can really run basic games in Steam on this sort of machine. And it will work, it's fine. But you've got Tetris and this sort of stuff that you normally have in the end. And sometimes you just want to waste some time. So you've got a snake-like game, a test game, test your memory game, blee dee blah dee blah easy peasy okay. Accessories, you get all the usual as you would do in LXDE, so you've got a text editor, a terminal, a task manager, SD card copier, so you copy your stuff over, so you can make a copy of your whole card and take it over. So this is one of the things that's left over from using the Raspberry Pi. So you can make a copy of your card and move it over. A PDF viewer, a file manager, count clicker, etc. Chrome Apps is here for a simple reason. I've synced all my Chrome stuff over because I've got Google Chrome running. And so I'll get the Chrome recovery utility just in case uh, Sneaky Girls books go bang and I can just get it done really quickly. Under help, go and check it out. Preferences, you will find Admin Move software. You may like it, you may not. It's really old school. Like the whole thing, the look of it and feel of it is really old school. But it works for old machines. You can snazz it up if you want to. No big deal. Do your appearance settings. Mm, you can't really do too much here, really, can you? Okay. I'm going to add some stuff if you want to redo that. So we do, may do that enough time. We'll see how we go. Okay. The main menu is all that does is adjust here. So we don't really want enough to do that at the moment. 
Pi Server. Okay. Well, this enables you to use your desktop as a basically a client. So you can do uh, so you've got some loaded Raspberry Pis in your classroom or in your house, and this will be the main network server for all that. You can do all that here. It's really, really easy. Super. I'm not even going to that with you lot because you're probably not interested. So don't worry about it. Okay, close that. Next, okay. Recommended software. This comes as standard, okay? It's, it's stuff they would like you to install. So I'll wait for it to boot up a little bit. It's not doing anything really at all, is it really? Finding packages. Bearing in mind I've done a lot here. Most of you have got installed anyway. You're going to add Moo if you want to, okay? It scratches all here. See the ticks on the boxes? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. There's nothing else here really to really, really worry about. It's only Moo I'm missing, isn't it? I'm not even sure if I will use it. Okay. Bit of drinkage needed, hang on. I'll cancel that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's so much better. Anyway, Spotify is via a flat pack. Okay. Works fine. Super. No problem. What can I say? It does what it says on the lead tin. But you know me, I like to have my stuff on the machine. So if it's all Clementine, it does look really old school in the next year, doesn't it? But hey, it does what it says on the tin, okay? So I uploaded a, a large portion of my music library onto this machine. Works fine. You can have Q, you can have Rhythmbox, you can have whatever you want to to play. It's entirely up to you. But if you've got these old machines lying around, or you've got a laptop that's just not doing anything, or you don't want to do anything, or you're going to chuck it out, just do something with it. It will do it. No problemo whatsoever. Okay? So, I would say to you, if you want to use the Pi Desktop, install Synaptic Package Manager. It makes it easier if you're not used to using the command line to install packages. Once you install Synaptic, everything is there. So if I click on Synaptic here, you'll see what I mean. I want my password. Oh, by the way, when you install it, it asks you for a new password and it updates the system as soon as you install it. But you can also go and update it every now and then. Okay? So I can have 0 AD, old version. But if I go to Flatpak or Snap, I can get the latest version and get them to update all the time. I know nobody likes flat packs and snaps really, but get the times, guys. Get the times. Things move on. There will always be a repo, but some some stuff will be easier in a snap or a flat pack or whatever. App images. Uh, I'm not too happy with them myself, really. But hey, half one, six of the other, isn't it? When you think about it. Yeah, that's all I really want to say, really. To be honest with you, this is fantastic. Go and download it. I'll tell you what, should we go there and find out? Okay. So I'll open Chrome up. Of course, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's an old machine. Don't worry about it. So I'll go to the Raspberry Pi desktop and see what it comes up with. Now, it should in theory. There it is. That's the one I want. <clears throat> This basically gets you to run everything on. It's only been updated a few days ago, okay? This is the reason why I've been using it. The older one was a bit buggy for me to use as a main system. But I will say to you, this is not buggy. It's free to download. Torrent Aura, so but as you can see, the download ginormous. Ginormous, about 2 gig, I think. But everything there is there for you. I think. On this machine, it took about 5 to 8 minutes to install. Yeah, no problem at all. That's why I like it. Anyway, you want something different? Go and try the Raspberry Pi desktop. There will be more videos on this very soon. I'm going to do two videos per section. Uh, the normal ones for you lot are going to be here. Educationally, the other on the other channel, etc, etc, etc. Sneaking in the sound. I'll see you later. Bye bye. 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 Bye.